With racial discourse front and center in our culture, City News had a conversation about the N-word being used in the school system. I sat down with three prominent Quebecers to talk about racism in the province, something Premier François Legault says doesn't exist. It exists in other places, and they might do lip service and they'll acknowledge it and not, and not do anything, but at least they go, oh, yes, yes, we have, it's race, there's racism, it's bad. But Quebec is one of the pl- few places I've seen where the leadership goes, no, we don't have a major problem with that. That, to me, is unique, and I'm not sure exactly why that is in this province. A lot of people in general, including Black people, aren't educated about their own history. And I think that there was the baton was not passed to the newer generations in terms of really understanding the degradation, um, the hurtfulness, and the ignorance of that word. Canada can, can declare institutionalized racism exist, but Quebec can say, nah, we're good. We don't agree. What are you going to do about it? it? It's a very... It's a very interesting political play. And how does that affect us as Black folks? Well, the federal government has no jurisdiction over education. They know they can get away with it under the guise that they're, they're, they're quoting. And it's, it's almost like a challenge where they dare Black people to say something or to do something. Your privilege shouldn't come at the expense of my discomfort. That's very important. If you understand the history of the word, you know that it comes from a place of terror and genocide of Black people, literally. It's still, to those who are educated, it still causes a lot of pain and upset. Schools are meant to be organizations, I don't want to say institutions because that implies something else, but are meant to be places of brave spaces where people learn about how they want to function in the society, and language is very important to that. I think we also have to ask ourselves why there's hypocrisy if we're not willing to use other words for other communities, then what is really at the root of us holding on to this word? This is what happens to marginalized communities. They understand that, you know, we have a lack of resources, a lack of power. We're not organized. So they continue to persecute us. And this is what we see in Canada and the province of Quebec. Um, You know, when you have Um, In 2021, a resolution that has to be passed at a school board level regarding the N-word. And we're the only school board and only service center in Quebec to pass that resolution. I mean, there's a problem. But, you know, we as Black people have to start working together and stop um, being divided by our culture and our differences. And for educators who want to teach books with the word, I think... Uh, What are you teaching in addition to those books? And you still do not have to say the word knowing that it's going to invoke a reaction and a feeling of unsafe feelings for young people. That as an educator, we do not have the right to traumatize our students and and our staff. I'll be very, I'll be very, very clear about that. When I saw the N word in the history textbooks, I felt very triggered and felt very like, why am I teaching in a, in a, in a school, in, in a board, in a city, in a province where it's okay for that to get through the publishers and no one saw that. Last year, a teacher at Henri Bourassa High School in Montreal North was suspended for repeatedly using the N-word in class. Not long after, it was discovered that a history book assigned to some secondary four classes in the province, featured the word several times without being placed in context. In March of this year, the Lester B. Pearson School Board, which is Quebec's largest kindergarten to 12th grade English school board, passed a resolution banning the N-word from all its grounds. So far, it is the only school board in the province to do so. In Montreal, Sasha Obis, City News.